Hi everyone, I'm Sarah and this is Budget Sew, where we create stylish fashionable looks as inexpensively as possible. Today, I'm going to show you my fabric haul from Fabric Fabric. Just a quick note before we get started. Today, I'm wearing Butterick 6523. The link to the video with that sew along is right here at the top of the screen. This is my first order from Fabric Fabric and I'm very pleased with it. I was looking online for sale priced knit fabrics, so I googled Fabric Online Canada and up popped Fabric Fabric. I cross-checked it on Instagram and saw some lovely garments made with their fabric. Their fabric is sold by the yard rather than by the meter, so I ordered two yards of each fabric. When I received my order, I measured each piece and was very pleased to discover they actually gave me two yards and a few inches of each fabric. Only one piece out of 14 was exactly two yards. When I placed my fabric fabric order, the shipping and delivery dates were estimated based on the availability of the items and the shipping options I chose. The fabric fabric website also had a shipping rate chart for Canada and offered free shipping on orders over $100. Fabric fabric is located in Toronto, Ontario. So my order quickly arrived in two business days via Canada post. The first thing I did when I was online fabric shopping was to look for a sale. Lucky for me, the Fabric Fabric website had pages of sales. The sale fabric was divided into five groups. 90 inch jacquard drapery fabric, assorted fabrics, home decor fabrics, knit fabrics, and suiting fabric. I scrolled through all the pages of sale fabrics, notions, and sewing accessories, and I found some great prices and lovely fabric. Each fabric I chose was on sale for the low price of $3.99 a yard. The first fabric I chose was called Printed Polyester 423 from the Assorted Fabric Sale page. It's a medium weight woven polyester, so it's a great wash and wear fabric. It's 44 inches wide. This fabric is perfect for tops and dresses. The fabric is a navy blue with lions, tigers, and leopards. It's a one-way design because the cats are all the same way up. I thought that this fabric would be perfect for a blouse. I'll make the Tilly and the Buttons Mimi blouse. The Mimi blouse is a loose fitting button front blouse that you can tuck in or out with gathering at the yoke and a cute pleated sleeve detail. Because of the floaty, almost smocky shape of the bodice, it works well in drapey fabrics such as lightweight cotton lawn or voile, lightweight silks, vicose polyester, or blends. The Mimi blouse is in my Love at First Stitch book. I haven't traced the pattern yet, but it's at the top of my to-do list. The next fabric that I bought was Knit Fabric 25 from the Knit Fabric sale page. This is a lightweight poly cotton mix in a beautiful pale blue and is 62 inches wide. The website recommends using this fabric to create tank tops and ribbing around collars and cuffs, loungewear and apparel accessories. I plan to use this fabric for Berta 2981 you may remember this pattern from my pattern haul from Luke and Optimus thrift shop video. The link to that video is right here at the top of the screen. This is a fitted coordinates pattern that includes a top, dress, and pants. The blouse has front and back darts, long sleeves, and a buttoned front. The pants have an elastic waistband with a flat front. The dress has short sleeves, pockets at the bust, and is above knee length. This is one of the new Berta patterns where the seam and hem allowances are included. 
The recommended fabrics are jersey and fine sweater knits. I plan to make the long sleeve top and I have the perfect buttons in mind. I bought these pale blue buttons for 50% off in store at Fabricland about 10 years ago. Then there's Knit Fabric 320. This fabric is pale blue with green, orange, and navy blue stripes. This lightweight polyester knit is used to create tank tops, ribbing around collars and cuffs, loungewear, and apparel accessories. This fabric is perfect for a stitch and save by McCall's 9438 from 1998. I bought this pattern at Good Value Thrift Store for 25 cents. This is a jumper in two lengths and top. The easy fitting pinafore dress or jumper has top stitching detail. The top with long or short sleeves has a back zipper and is for stretch knits only. The photo on the pattern envelope does not match the line art of the pattern. The pattern envelope shows two necklines, but the line art only shows one. The difference is in the top are the length of the sleeves, long or short. The recommended fabrics for top A and B are stretch knits only, such as cotton interlock or jersey. The next fabric is printed polyester 407. It's 54 inches wide and 100% polyester. This fabric is a lovely green with faint darker green stripes. I love the color and the feel of this fabric. It's perfect for summer dresses, blouses, shirts, and flowy skirts. I'm going to use this fabric for Vintage McCall's 5441 that was published in 1977. I bought this pattern at Good Value Thrift Store. These pullover tops have sleeves cut in one with the fronts and backs. View A has a contrast inset and purchased iron-on embroidery. View B with lace or eyelet inset or view C with purchased handkerchief inset and lace trim have elbow length sleeves. View D with lace or view E with decorative tape trim have bell sleeves. The suggested fabrics for views A through E are lightweight cotton, cotton blends, chalice, sura, foil, synthetic crepe, synthetic jersey, and gauze. All five tops are suitable for lengthwise stripes, but tops A, B, and D are not suitable for obvious diagonal prints or diagonal weaves. The next fabric is Knit Fabric 94. This blue fabric has a noticeable sheen and is 100% polyester. It's 60 inches wide and is used to create tank tops, apparel accessories, and more. I haven't decided which side of the fabric to use. One side is really shiny, but the other side is matte. This fabric would look great as the Tilly and the Buttons Freya top with the cowl neckline. This close fitting sweater or A-line dress comes with a choice of three sleeve lengths and four neck variations, including a mock neck, pleated ruffle, roll neck, or cowl neck to make this wardrobe staple even more versatile. The next fabric is Polyester Fabric 21B. This dark green woven fabric is 60 inches wide and 100% polyester. The description says that polyester fabric has a variety of uses in fashion, craft, and home decor. I love the color of this fabric and I think it would look great with navy blue. I plan to use this fabric for Simplicity 2308 from 2010. I bought this pattern from Valley Village Thrift Stores. This Project Runway dress or tunic has front tucks and sleeve and neckline variations. I'm going to make the tunic with the long sleeves and collar. The recommended fabrics are laundered cottons, lightweight denim, pique, poplin, sateen, lightweight woolen wool blends, crepe, crepe back satin, 
laundered silks and rayons, silk linen, voile, double georgette, brocade, satin, shantung, taffeta, velvet, soft lightweight linen and linen blends, and matte jerseys. The next fabric is Knit Fabric 301. This lightweight poly cotton blend is 60 inches wide and is used to create tank tops, ribbing around collars and cuffs, loungewear, and apparel accessories. The navy blue and red stripes on the yellow fabric remind me of tops that I had when I was younger. I plan to use this fabric for the Knit Sweetheart Top from the book Gertie Sews Vintage Casual. I bought a used copy of the book from Amazon.ca. This cute little top has a vampy look with the comfort of a knit. Simple to sew pleats draw the neckline into a sweetheart shape. The original design had tiny cap sleeves, but there is a piece for three quarter length sleeves to make it as versatile as possible. If you don't stitch the pleats in the top center front, you get a great scoop neck shape. I plan to go with a scoop neckline. I've already drawn the pattern. The next fabric is Ribbed Knit 27. This olive green lightweight poly cotton fabric is 62 inches wide. The website description says use this fabric to create tank tops, ribbing around the collars and cuffs, loungewear, and apparel accessories. This olive green fabric will go great with navy blue or black pants. I plan to use this fabric for jumper or top 104 from the January 2022 issue of Berta Style. This jumper has a cuddly, wide high collar and voluminous sleeves that are gathered into wide cuffs. It looks good with sporty trousers as it does with a narrow pencil skirt. The recommended fabrics are fine knits, medium to heavyweight jerseys, and sweatshirting. Use stretch knit fabrics only. The magazine says that the original fabric in this photo is textured knit fabric. Then there's Knit Fabric 162. It's a lovely navy blue. It's 100% knit polyester and 60 inches wide. This fabric is used to create tank tops and apparel accessories. I think that I'm going to use this for top two from the sixth issue of Birdie Easy in 2021. I'm leaning towards view B, the long roll neck. Extra long and super casual. This roll neck made from soft sweatshirt jersey works perfectly for the couch or joggers or for the office and wide fabric trousers a fashionable all-rounder that is wonderfully cuddly. That's a big selling point for me. The recommended fabrics are fleece, sweatshirt fabric, and thick jersey. The next fabric is Printed Georgette 612. It's 54 inches wide and 100% polyester. I love the elephants as well as the bands of different patterns. The fabric is blue, navy blue, white, and pink. It's perfect for summer dresses, blouses, shirts, and flowing skirts. I'm going to use this fabric for Butterick 6684 from 2019. This top is so pretty and feminine. I bought this pattern online from the McCall's Pattern website, which has since been renamed somethingdelightful.com. You may remember this pattern from my McCall's Sewing Pattern Haul. The link to that video is right here at the top of the screen. This pullover top has a collar extending into tie ends and neckline, armhole, and sleeve variations. The suggested fabrics are chalice, crepe, double georgette, crepe de chine, and charmeuse. Then there's knit fabric 82 in this brilliant red. It's 100% knit polyester and 61 inches wide. This fabric is used to create tank tops and apparel accessories. I plan to use this fabric for View One's tunic from Simplicity 8030 from 1992. I bought this pattern from Valley Village Thrift Stores. Simplicity 8030 
is a pant, skirt, and tunic pattern with neckline variations and is used for stretch knits only. The slim pants and skirt have a double elastic waistline casing. The skirt without side seams has a back slit and the pants can be made with or without the stirrups. The oversized tunic with long sleeves has optional patch pockets. View one has a round neck, view two has a turtleneck, and view three has a drawstring hood. I like the round neckline best. The recommended fabrics are stretch knits only, such as cotton interlock, jerseys, lightweight double knits, and stretch velours. The next fabric is Knit Fabric 159. This black 100% knit polyester is 36 inches wide and is used to create tank tops and apparel accessories. Knit Fabric 159 is perfect for McCall's 2793. This is one of the Gap patterns from 1986. I bought this pattern at Mission Thrift Store and the link to the video where I purchased this pattern is right here at the top of the screen. This Mrs. and Men's pullover top is sized for stretch knits only. Top A and B have raglan sleeves, cuffs, and a lower band of ribbed knit. Top A has a self fabric or purchase knitted collar and a front button placket. View B has a ribbed knit collar. Pullover top C has a front and back yoke extending into long sleeves and no shoulder seams. The front yoke is buttoned and the neckband, cuffs, and lower band are of ribbed knit. The suggested fabrics for tops A, B, and C are stretch knits only, such as cotton knits, knit jersey, double knits, and sweatshirt fleece. Tops A and B also in velour. The collar, neckband, cuffs, and lower band of tubular ribbed knit. The pattern has a note that tops A, B, and C are not suitable for diagonals, checks, stripes, and plaids. The next fabric is Printed Knit 606. This knit fabric has a blue, red, and brown bias stripe pattern. It's 100% polyester and 54 inches wide. This fabric is used to create tank tops and apparel accessories. I plan to use this fabric for Simplicity 8401 from 1998. This pattern is from Value Village Thrift Stores. This long pullover top with front pleats has a round neckline, tie ends with button trim, and can be made with long or self-faced cap sleeves. The skirt and pants have a waistband and a side zipper. The flared gourd skirt can be made in long or short lengths, and the pants have front pleats. The suggested fabrics are chalice, crepe, laundered silks and rayons, sand wash silk, and jerseys. The skirt and pants also in crushed velvet. Extra fabric is needed to match plaids, stripes, or one-way designs. The final fabric is Knit Fabric 16P. This navy blue knit polyester is 60 inches wide and is used to create tank tops and apparel accessories. I'm going to use this fabric for the Tilly in the Buttons Frankie Tee. This top has a relaxed fit with easy to sew raglan sleeves, a round neckline, a gentle curved and dipped hem, and a choice of full length, three quarter, or cap sleeves. This pattern is in the book Stretch, Make Yourself Comfortable Sewing with Knit Fabrics, and is a free online sewing pattern. I'll post the link to the free Frankie T sewing pattern in the description box of this video. I hope you enjoyed my fabric 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 haul. Please share this video with your friends and family. I love sharing my new, vintage, and out of print sewing patterns and my tips, tricks, quick fixes, and even my mistakes when sewing along with you. I also love sharing my wonderful fabric finds that I thrifted from charity shops, as well as brand new fabric online and in store. If you'd like to see more from Budget Sew, please subscribe and press the bell so you receive a notification when I release a new video. If you'd like to stay up to date with Budget Sew, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Budget Sew. Thanks for watching. See you next time.